Today is going to be a thrift vlog. Um, Josh is going to go thrifting with me. I actually got this from a thrift store. And it's a really nice hat. And I don't know what this brand is, but... Um, since I lost weight, I actually look decent in hats now. But anyways, we're going to go um, to two different thrift stores. I want to film in there. And then uh, film what I bought from the last time I went. And then whatever we get today. And then we're also going grocery shopping, but I don't know if I'm going to vlog any of that. But I'm having a lot of fun vlogging again. Because I have energy. Josh is in the post office dropping off a package for me right now. Someone bought um, our Where's Waldo book. Here he comes. Yeah, they were there for an all-inclusive Am I allowed to film you? I just can't stand <laughs> So I'm up for my nap and I just want to show you what I got at the thrift store a few days ago and then also what Josh and I got today. This was from my trip by myself a few days ago. Sharpshooters, the board game. And you can listen in, babe, because I never showed you what I got. Because there is something in here I think you're going to be like, whoa, that's cool. I sold a Bendy Snowman, so I just grabbed this guy because I know it's vintage. I don't know who he is or where he's from, but we'll sell him. A vintage board game. I have to double check these board games to make sure all the stuff's in there, obviously. These are some wooden ornaments from Italy. Look at how cool, I mean, they're actually kind of scary looking. They're like little cherubs. Cheru. Cheru. Cherub. This I thought was so cool. Look at this old school. It's just a photo album. Look how pretty the frame is. And it's got its original box and it says got chalks on it, which, wait, are those still in business? I'm thinking Mervyn's, huh? They're still in business? Oh, well, if they're not, then guess what? <laughs> I have something from them. And it was probably a long time ago and it, the price back in the day was $22.50. That's like a lot for back in the day. You know what I mean? Travel board game, magnetic backgammon. I definitely got this for our tree. <laughs> this is That's for our tree. <laughs> oh, I found some vintage chalk and it's untouched and it's got assorted stuff in it. I think this stuff sells for like five to $10 and I paid 25 cents for it. 
But yeah, it's literally untouched. I hear a cat ripping something up in there. Vintage erasers. I learned about these in the thrift store the other day. Those were interesting. Oh, this is like a little travel compass thing. I just thought it was cool. And I saw something online and I kind of wanted to learn about it. So I just bought it so I could learn. That is so cool. <laughs> No, it's a little compass. I think this is a brass planter. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull out what I wanted to show you right now. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, I think it's, no. It's made in Korea. I think it's all brass. It's big, like, like, Maple. Oh, hi, Maple. But yeah, I thought this thing was really cool. Took a chance on it, 250. Take a chance on me. Do your very best. Now these guys, I almost passed by, but I think they're actually worth something. These are my fishies I was talking about. Oh, okay. And they're in really good condition. So these. Just keep swinging. Vintage Seiko travel alarm clock. It is missing its little back thing, but if it works, that's pretty cool. That scared me. What? Your game, the talking in the game scared me. I was like, who is that? This um, I picked up and I was like, this is really heavy. And then I looked it up and I think this might be a nice brand. So again, just took a chance on it. I don't spend a million hours in each thrift store. If it's something like 50 cents, I'll just usually take a chance on it. Let me say it for the fifth time. Oh, I just thought this was cool and I have no idea. I think there's like a brand on it. So I wanted to clean it to see it's a railroad nail. <laughs> Look. A railroad spike? It's a railroad spike. Hell? Yeah, and it's got like a brand on it. And sometimes they're worth something. And I was like, whatever. I just want to check this thing out. Maple, are you helping? I was just gonna say 13 goats, right? And then these are silver, but one of these is a, oh wait, one's aluminum. I don't remember why I got these. Oh, I got this one because it's from Germany. Two more take a chance things. And this guy is really cute. I loved moon and star stuff, so this caught my eye. In high school, my whole room was dark blue. Like that. That was it for my solo trip the other day. Today, Josh pointed this out. I think it's worth like 40 bucks if it's complete. So I got to obviously check. It looks like a puzzle game. Ooh, let me grab my fish. I immediately picked this up because I just thought it was super cool. Who knows if it'll even sell for very much. Like, isn't this cute? I'm not a Tommy girl. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> But I think this is cute, it's a little lunchbox. This I took a uh, chance on as well, back joy. Cause I know um, these like little exercise things can be worth money sometimes and I've never seen this. Yarn so I can do garland for our Christmas tree. Josh saw these at the register at the very end. I had never noticed them. Or they have stuff up there. I don't ever look though. Cause I don't like the... <laughs> cashier staring at me and being like, do you want to see something? I don't want to be perceived, but look, took a chance on these because they're all 50 cents or under, I believe. They're collector spoons in different kinds. Thanks, bub. This, I have no idea. It's a nice Pyrex dish and Pyrex can usually sell, but look at the top of this thing. I mean, it obviously needs to be polished, but I think it's, silver and it's just cute if this doesn't sell i would honestly keep it i don't know what i would put in it green yarn for garland i knew this brand sorry what the garland green i almost said something like that and i was like that doesn't rhyme when i yeah, garland green is from uh, Conner, and Steve character. his name's garland yeah garland green um, with the bag in the box <laughs> 
Oh, oh I always say. Wait, say it one more time. Put the bunny bag in the box. Is that where I get where I uh, when I pet Cherry Nice it say soft leg bunny? Is that where I get my bunny? I don't know. Soft leg bunny. I got it from Con Air, I think. <laughs> Anyways, Villaroy and <laughs> Villaroy and Bach. <laughs> and Bach. <laughs> Joshua. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, the cat scared me. This is like some tile made in France. So real. This is an ab workout thing. You stand on it and you twist back and forth. Now, look at these vintage Jim Henson. Look at the condition they're in. They're literally from 93. Perfect condition. Took a chance on these. Josh brought them to my attention. I haven't really been looking at the ornaments because I have a bunch of stuff that hasn't sold, but I figured why not add three more to the rotation. I was gonna check them, but then uh, they were at the bottom of the little basket and I was like, whatever. This one's a bell. Girls are playing hard. And Josh also found this and I can't tell if it's a Christmas decoration, if someone did it and then marked it, but it has a, is it a copyright C? Is that what that means? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it also has Railroad Depot and it's like a stamped thing on it too. So it makes me think, <laughs> hi girls. It makes me think it was part of something and it might be messed up. Josh pointed this out and stuff, but we'll do some research on this. Cause I don't know. It's got a little railroad part right there. I was doing Lisa's duck face. I just realized. Okay. I think that's it. Bye. <laughs>